guys. Okay, so in one second we're about to switch to computer view mode, but I just wanted to say I am moving my entire list over to ConvertKit. If you haven't heard from me in any newsletter form in a while, that's just you need to re-sign up down below. I emailed everybody on my MailChimp um, newsletter and anybody who doesn't convert over is just not going to hear my emails anymore. I just thought it was time for a fresh start. Just purge the list, start over. Anybody who wants to keep hearing from me, I have now set up a beginning email opt-in funnel of all of my best kind of business copywriting networking tips. So if you want that, you need to sign up down below. But otherwise, let's dive into ConvertKit, how to set it up, and maybe some like pros and cons to using it versus some of the others. Okay. Okay, guys. So let's go behind the scenes of ConvertKit. Let me just show you really quick how to set this up. I have set up so many email funnels for clients. Flowdesk, MailChimp, ActiveCampaign, na na na. I have only loosely played a little bit with ConvertKit here and there, and it wasn't until I fully played with it that I decided I was going to set my entire newsletter on fire and start over and put them all into here. So let me just show you really quick. Now, in order to send an email funnel, you do need to either do the 30 day trial, I think it's 30 days, um, of their next step up. They do have a free plan, just keep that in mind, but I don't believe you can automate emails inside of that. So all you do to set up a email funnel, which you should set up one when people first sign up to your list, just to like kind of introduce yourself, introduce your ideas, introduce everything going on. So, like I said, I just set this up about, like, I, I think two weeks ago now. Um, and then I sent an email list to everybody on my MailChimp. And I've obviously lost a ton of people, which I'm fine with. I was very bad at emailing. And I, it had just collected through the years. And I had never really cleaned it out. I didn't really segment the list, all the things I knew I should have done. And I was just like, I'll get to that eventually. So when I have this chance to just like purge and start over and really only find people who are already currently interested in what I do and what I offer. So, but you name it, all you have to do, if you want to make a new one, all you have to do is go into the upper right and click new automation. And then you get to select who comes in from where. And I have these in two different places. I have one on my website. And then one, I think that's just like a link that I have at the bottom. I think you'll even see it like the bottom of this video underneath here is a, a link goes to a landing page. You can opt in done. So once, and obviously no one is done with it yet because I just set it up, but, um, and that's it. End of automation. So you have the landing pages for how you set them up and you can customize them, design them. Maybe you should hire a graphic designer. I did not. I just did a real blank general template. I just wanted it set up more than I wanted to worry about all of the little nitty gritty little details here and there. So hopefully I don't break this while I show this, but each level of the way, see these little plus signs, you can add new events, actions, conditions. So if someone at some point, you know, buys your ebook or something that can trigger a whole new automation and a whole new funnel for those people or a list or a tag or whatever it is, which is why I think ConvertKit is so powerful. I think that there's a lot of email companies and email marketing that can do these kinds of things, but having it be so clear cut, I'm not, I, <laughs> of all these years of battling technology and like writing about technology and all these things, I still am not like technologically advanced. So when things are simple and I can just hit the plus button, that is easy for me than worrying about anything else. So I have mine set up. So every, I think it's like you opt in and then every like Tuesday and Thursday from there on out, minus the first initial immediate email um goes step by step okay so there's the first opt-in like hey thanks for signing in and you can send that immediately right there send this email um published just means that it will be part of the funnel 
So you can start writing drafts and adding other ones on there and just like start outlining them, but it doesn't send until you click that published and turn it on button, which I think is great because I'm, I'm sure this will turn out eventually really long, maybe. Um, what I also love, see, and then, okay, ready. And then immediately how to stand out online. If you want my best tips on that one day later, only on Tuesdays and Thursdays, how to fill your client pipeline. If you need some clients, that's all my, that's all my tips, <laughs> strips to manage clients. Uh, but as you can see, I think I have like a give or take eight in here. So at two a month, it's, or two a week, it's about a whole month of just opt-in automations, which is saving me a ton of time because I, I'm, I'm decent at like <laughs> creating all kinds of, uh, regular emails. And I figured at least this is better than people opting into my list and like never hearing from me again, which is I'm super guilty of at the very least, even if I only email them like every other week after they go through this funnel, it's at least something. And it's my best tips and it's so nice. And then I think you can see, yes. And then you can even go into reports. If this is like a super detailed, like, cool. So Obviously, as you can see, open rate, open rate. You can see how many, you know, like are sending, how many are clicking through, how many have unsubscribed. Obviously not a big deal. It, hearing from someone twice a week is kind of a lot. I mean, I'm not upset about that. Um, and then obviously, okay, everybody's about here. How to grow your business is about where everybody's at. So they're working their way, making my way downtown, you know, but like, so people, it's just fun to be able to see the open rates, see how they're going through the funnel. So I can go back in a few months and kind of look and go like, oh, okay, like this one is losing people a lot or, and I figured it was also easier to just show you this on, for my own business, as opposed to worrying about, uh, Hey client, can I show my YouTube channel, all of our backend things that I have built out? and all of your data and how many people just people are so weird and touchy about like how many people are on their email list like if it's not 50,000 they're like I don't want to talk about it and to me I'm like I just I just want to I just want to show you guys how to do this so as you can see I mean that's not too, honestly two out of 90 for unsubscribing not that bad but so, and also this is just a teaser. If you want to sign up, these are all of the things that we cover. Um, so that's fun. I love that. I just love how simple it is. I just wanted to hop on real quick, show you guys all the thing. I'm sure I will do more convert kit emails. I think with time, because I think it's so interesting and I'm going to teach a little more about like how creators can monetize their skills and the current world and economy and all of that instead of just like purely copywriting. I think I've said everything I've wanted to or needed to say for a long time on <laughs> copywriting. So I think we have that covered, but we are going to move on to setting up email funnels and other things that creators can do to kind of, you know, grow the business. So that is pretty much it. That is how to set up a email sequence. Um, is there anything else? like, obviously you can even click and drag and change the order over here on the right. I'm obviously not going to do that, but even when you go into one, you can set up whatever you want. The pure customizations, my face is in the way. There we go. And, uh, when you want to send them. So if you have something like if you live stream only on Sundays and you want people to just get that email only on like, I don't know, Saturday night, Sunday morning or something, you can do that. And that's like incredibly exciting. And for only, I think it's like $15 a month for the first tier of like a creator plan. I think that's amazing. All creators. Have. So I'll put a link to convert kit down below. Um, Obviously, you'll need to write out your entire sequence before you do all the work of setting it all up or else you're going to be like setting it up. And I would highly recommend if you're going to do this to simply um, write it out first, set it up that way, and then go back and like fix it from there. And 
import it, test it out. I put myself almost through like my entire sequence and then I was like, okay, it's sending regularly. And then I, then I published everything to let it go through. So, um, I think that's pretty much it. Yeah. Okay. That is ConvertKit guys. I'm very happy. I'm very thrilled to be playing with it. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So we will see how that goes. Okay. The lighting is terrible in this video. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one.